Hi and welcome to Studio MMA and MMA Nuts and we got Scandinavia in the house. We got both Chris the Kiss Bong who just fought in Strike Force, congratulations. And uh, Martin Kapman who's representing Scandinavia next Friday the at the uh, tough the ultimate fighter finale and uh, you're taking on Jake Ellenberger. How's training camp been? How are you feeling? I feel great. I'm ready to kick his ass. Main event, five rounds. Um, and and uh, do you think it's going to go five rounds? No, I'm not planning on it. No? I'm planning on stopping the first one. So I only train for one round. And it's nice to get to fight uh, in, in your home city, so to speak, even though you're from Denmark, we're in Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah, fight we're fighting here in Vegas. I've been, I, was, I was just messing around. I've been training hard, man. I've been working my butt off five rounds. <laughs> it sucks, but uh, it's good, too, you know. It, it, it sucks at the same time, but, but it's uh, also, you know, it's good, you know. But uh, it's two more rounds to get beat up and get bruised in, but uh, it's, it's all good. It should be good. Talking about beat be up, you, you you took a couple of hits from Thiago Alves in, in your last fight. That was a, that was a, a real uh, we won the nails watching that fight. Um, you uh, you got hit a few times. Did it rock you at all? Were you hurt? No, I felt good. The whole uh, I felt good. I didn't I didn't feel feel rock at any time, you know. But of course, you know he got popped. You know I couldn't find my rhythm in that second round, and um, I was getting hit a lot more, and he was getting a bit of some of the exchanges. So um, you know it is what it is, but. Uh, I'm glad I still got the victory. You know, he gave me the opportunity to finish the fight, and uh, that's what I did. So, did you think there was gonna come by submission? You know what? I, I didn't. I'm I'm ready to finish the fight whenever I get the opportunity. You know, if you leave your chin up in there, I'm gonna punch it and hard as, as hard as I can. You know, but if you give me a submission, I'm gonna go for it too. So, anything I get, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to finish you. Uh, is he the? He's a very very big 170. Is he the hardest hitting 170 or the biggest 170 you ever fought? Uh, I don't know. I, I fought some some pretty good sized guys. You know, I used to fight at 85, so I yeah. think uh, I fought a lot bigger guys than that. And when I fought 85, I was pretty much walking around not much bigger than I am now, maybe five pounds, not even more than that. So I fought some big guys at 85. But at 70, is he the biggest guy? I don't know. He's short, so it's not. But he's just stocky. I don't know. Now, does it punch harder than Chris? Because you tell you guys you both live here in Vegas, obviously. You spot you spot together before. Martin just beating me up all the time. No. <laughs> Chris got a good punch too. <laughs> uh did you get a chance to see Chris's fight? I haven't seen it yet. I was in there checking results though, but I'd like to check it out. And Chris, how you feel? You look pretty good from for, for fighting only a few days ago. A little bit better than your brother. He, it seemed like he got hit a little bit more. Uh he fought the night before you. Were you did you get a chance to see your brother first of all? Uh I actually I was uh upstairs and I just finished the weight class I was drinking water but I missed the first round which was the best round and I saw the second and third but um, I got to see the first round and uh, later on we uh, we did an interview with your brother brother a little while ago and, and he said he gets so nervous when you fight that he can't you know he doesn't know if you should you know he almost starts crying and said and uh, how do you feel when he fights uh, yeah I was super nervous too but you know he's uh, he's my big brother and, and, and I expect him to be a superhero and uh, and he's the uh, toughest stone, so I don't get the same nerves as he gets. I'm his little brother, so it's different. So, uh, no, I just expect, uh, expect him to go in and kill it, and he did. Falcione didn't want to be part of that stand-up game. So it was just holding me down for two rounds. And uh, Martin, you know Andreas as well, uh, uh, Chris's brother, and uh, he actually said he's going to come and do some training with you guys now as well, right? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, Martin got the best ground game ever, and... Me and my brother really need to work on that, so we'll be uh, grateful to be, be training with him. But you didn't need to show much of your, your ground game in, in your last fight. It was, them, uh, it, was a, it was a beautiful tie clinch that set up the, the finish of that fight. Uh, everything went according to plan. Is that what you were planning on doing? Yeah, I expected him to co come in a little more aggressive, so I was uh, just feeling it a little bit in the beginning. But really, the first connection that happened in the first seconds, I felt right away that his, his, he wasn't as tight. So I caught him with the right hand. I don't know if you could see it at, at the tape. And then it was just a matter of time to connect with the punches. It looked like I went for it, for it, tried to take him down there. I but I, so yeah, No, I wasn't. I, I, I was like, I just go a little bit to see how it feels. And then, and then it was like, I'm a stand-up fighter. I don't need to take him down. <laughs> so I just stopped it in the middle. I read on the on the play by play. Chris went for take and couldn't get it. I didn't even try to take him down, but it, it was good. The tight clinch is it something that you've uh, worked a lot on lately? Because it, it looked pretty tight. He had difficulties getting out of it. You landed some solid knees to the head as well. You know, back in Sweden, I was training at um, Valentina boxing camp with some really great K1 fighters, and um, 
that was some really good times, and I, I feel that it's still in my system. So it's from back in the days. And you're from a stand-up background as well, Martin. You done uh, both Muay Thai and kickboxing, correct? Yeah. Uh, and uh, you you've obviously become a true mixed martial art fighter, training at at, at Extreme Couture with uh, a lot of grapplers and. Uh, Finishing the last fight with a, with a submission. Do you still see yourself as a stand-up fighter that does martial arts, mixed martial arts, or are you a comp just a complete mixed martial artist? I try to do, uh, you know, everything. I try to be as well-rounded as I can be, you know, and uh, especially since I got to the U.S., I've been focusing a lot of my, uh, on my wrestling and my grappling, and I feel it's really been paying off, but uh, I'm, I've been starting to go back a lot more to my uh, stand-up background as well, and uh, I, feel, I feel confident in my striking skills as well. I, I, I almost all my wins in the UFC, you know, I got a lot of wins by U, by submission, you know, but uh, all my knockout wins is before UFC, so I'd like to get get some knockout wins too. Can we expect a knockout on next Friday? Anything. You can expect <laughs> anything and everything. We see a lot of Swedish fighters both now in strike force with Chris, his brother Andreas fought there as well, uh, Papi Abedi, Reza Madadi, Alexander Gustafsson, obviously. When are we going to see more Danish fighters in the UFC? Well, actually, we got a, I got a Danish guy. He was staying in my house the last couple of days. He's fighting in, uh, in Bellator. Uh, oh, yeah. So uh, that's the second uh, Danish guy, you know, with a big promotion. So hopefully more guys to come. It's great. Scandinavia. Yeah, <laughs> Team Scandinavia. There's some more Finnish fighters in there. We don't have many of those. A couple of Norwegians, obviously, and... Uh, but we lack some, some Finns. We don't have... It's one of them, only, I think, that I can think of in the UFC, at least. And they got some tough guys in Finland as well. They yeah, do. they do. Um, what is it about Scandinavia? Because considering our, our countries are not that big, not that many people, yet we tend to do well, and especially when it comes to martial arts, whether it be K1 or kickboxing, Muay Thai, and now mixed martial arts. We had five, six fighters signed to the UFC when the UFC came to Sweden for the first time a couple of months back. Um, what is it about us? What do we do, what do we, we do so well? We're just awesome, that's it. <laughs> Agree, Chris. Um, I, I also also listen to what you said. <laughs> That's great. You you're great. You you're doing great for being in this. What was the question? This was kind of name. Where did you buy those shorts? Is what I asked. Where did you buy those big shorts? <laughs> Uh, about about Scandinavians. You got them a size too big. Yeah. They're supposed to be. <laughs> they were supposed to be a little tighter. Uh, yeah, about Scandinavians. You know, we're just Vikings. We're the toughest people on earth. People don't realize that that it's still in our blood. It's our system. You know, just look at Marty. He's one of the top, toughest guys out there. And, you know, we're all a big fan of his. And really looking forward to see you fight this weekend. Thank you. Next weekend. I'm looking forward to it too. Yeah. And the the Ultimate Fighter, first time on Fox, um, and uh, it's been a, it's been a long way. These poor guys have been in there a lot longer than the previous Ultimate Fighter shows. Have you followed it at all now since you're gonna be the main event there? Um. No, not really. I'm I'm training when they show that stuff, you know. I'm I'm getting my training in. But do you know who's in the finale? Who's fighting? No. Do you just focusing on your own fight? I'm. I heard it was was a great show, and uh, I heard it was good stuff. But uh, I haven't I haven't I haven't had time to watch it. Yeah, I have to I have to agree with Morning. I I um, just actually asked my brother. Is is Morning one of the trainers this show? I haven't had time <laughs> to I haven't had time to watch it. But I've heard it would be a really great season. And uh, it was supposed to be Uriah Faber versus Dominic Cruz. Uh, no love lost between those two guys. And then Dominic obviously uh, had to pull out because of a uh, ACL tear. Um, and they moved um, the fight. And uh, we we have a potential. How, how many fights, Martin, do you, would you say you're away from, from a title, being a title contender? It's not that many fights left, right? No, I'm I'm ready to fight for the title whenever I get the opportunity, you know. Let me just go beat up Ellenberger, then then I'm ready. And if and if you were the matchmaker, if you were Joe Silva or, uh, for the UFC, and you looked at Martin Kampman, you'd say, okay, Jake Al and Ellenberger, good victory on, on next Friday. One, two, three fights away from a title fight? Hell no, I'm ready before that. Just line me up. Maybe Thursday night? Huh? Maybe Thursday night? Have a title fight Thursday night and then fight Ellen. Saturday? I'm fighting Ellenberger Friday, so let's line, up, let's line it up Saturday. So, Chris, uh, you've been in, in there with, with Martin. What does Martin do so well? You know, it feels like it's, uh, he, he doesn't have any a hole in his game. And his, his stand-up is so tight. And I remember one time he, ca he caught me with a head kick. I didn't even see the head kick coming. It was like... 
the punches and the head kick just came right right out there. And my boxing and my hands is so good. And then I see the head kick coming, and then he took me down, and it's, it's so tight. And this I like the it's no holes in his games. His stand up game is so good, and his ground game is so so strong. And game is so good and so technical. I see Martin and really really top caliber guy in the. So forget that Martin's actually sitting next to you right now, but if you have to do a prediction for next Friday night against Ellenberger, what would you predict? Pretend that Martin isn't there right now. Yeah, I would <laughs> <laughs> predict that Martin would go in and beat his ass. <laughs> he does, does best. And you taking some time off. What's next for you? When is your next strike force, uh, strike force fight? Yeah, well... You've been working on your suntan, I can see that. Two weeks before the June 14th, they're going to call me and be like, hey, Chris, can you fight? That's what you've been doing for the last three <laughs> fights. So I expect to fight every day. That's uh, my last five fights. It's been a week now, so just stay ready. That's what we do, professional athletes. And uh, you're a little bit calmer, a little bit nicer than, than your brother when it comes to before the fights. Your brother's been pushing some people uh, a little bit. Don't get in his face, then. Don't get in my brother's face. I, I gotta agree with that. I <laughs> saw that, and they were giving him shit for that. If yeah. somebody got to come and give you a smelly breath, I'd push him away too. Yeah, that's right. that's their they're the one starting that shit. Yeah. So I'm with the Andreas side here too. Yeah. Unfortunately, we couldn't catch this on camera. It was a little uh, break there, and we have Andreas Spong. Chris's brother sitting in the background, and uh, Martin just found out that Andreas was fined six thousand dollars. Yeah, six thousand dollars. Yeah. What the f? How would you? I don't know if we're allowed to swear. You can no. swear. This is this is Scandinavia. <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> what would you have done if Falcao came up in your face the way he did Andreas? He puts a face, my face. I'm gonna push him away too. Story, yeah. Rick Story did that to me. I pushed him away a little bit more nice than Andreas did. More, <laughs> a little more. Uh, what do you call that? I don't know. Um. Diplomatic. Yeah, but I, I, you know, I don't want a, your smelly face in my face, you know. Yeah, especially you should, not after you, you just won a, a big yeah. fight and you have been really in a strong battle, it's a lot of adrenaline, and then come up there in your face. I can't believe this. And and he was the guy. The other guy was the one jumping at him and trying to swing at him, and then yeah. they find him and for then pushing. Find Andreas That's for crazy. Six thousand dollars. That's ridiculous. I would, you got to be an appeal for that or something. What about you, Chris? Do you know if if uh, Falcao got fined as well? I, I don't know myself. Do you know if he got fined as well? I don't. I no. I don't know. Uh, the, but but it seems like my brother got fined and he didn't. And Andreas is uh, shaking his head here. And, uh, that's great. We have house <laughs> housekeeping coming in. Should we keep filming? Or should should we take a break? That's a problem when you have these sweets at the MGM. You know, they're coming in, bringing food, clothes. They should at least find both guys if they want to make an example, you know, and just say, you know, we don't tolerate this. We'll find both guys, but. We're going to keep going? We're going to keep going. <laughs> got, oh, we've got the rest of the team coming. Um, so, yeah, both fighters are fighting, and it was actually Valkyrie threw the knee, and Andreas just clinched. And um, so I used an appeal. Pretty interesting. Do you, hear, you heard it right here. Even Martin Kampman is saying. Uh, What's, if, if what state was that in? Ohio? Ohio. Oh. If my brother's going to get fined, the organization's going to pay for it because it was them who brought him up in the ring. What did you expect? They're fr fighters. They just yeah. fought. And it's not the first time we see. We saw in Strike Force with, uh, with uh, Jason May May Miller as well when he uh, got in uh, um, Jake Shields' face. Was it Jake Shields? Yeah, Jake Shields. And uh, we had uh, the Diaz brothers were in there as well. And, and a lot of motion, you just fall and then you get someone else coming in your face. Um, Bellator, you heard it right here. Give him the money back. 6000 huh? Yeah, and give us the cut of that commission for bringing up the appeal. Um, there's a, a fight on Saturday night as well here in Vegas. There is basically a heavyweight tournament put on by the UFC. The whole main card, just heavyweight. So you guys going to watch the fights? Of course. Yeah? Good what stuff. You, what about you, Chris? Are you with us still here or are you zoning out again? <laughs> thinking, <laughs> thinking about where, you, where your next purchase is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna snap out of it. We we're talking about your suntan, yeah. and it looks it looks beautiful. Good, yeah, yeah, I've been working the last few you days. Do you moisturize? Do you moisturize? I do. <laughs> Actually, I have a couple of girls moisturizing me. You know, patting my back. Yeah. Did your girlfriend know that? What? <laughs> Did your girlfriend know that? You know this is on camera, right? The next question. 
the next question if you're going to watch the UFC have it, the, the the fight on on, on I'm Saturday. going there I'm super excited about that card it's going to be a great great card I I don't think have you been in a card with just heavyweight fights like that before and the UFC no yeah, I'm super, super excited it's a good fight on the undercard too any predictions on the main on the main card on the the heavyweights especially obviously the the heavyweight title no prediction just expecting a really really good card I think uh you know of course Frank can get Junior down. I think you know he can put him in trouble, but I think uh, I think Junior is the favorite for a reason. You know he's got badass boxing, and I think uh, he's going to keep the title. But uh, I think you know Frank can make it interesting. You know for sure. I'm yeah. looking forward to it. Yeah, we were watching uh, Junior again today, and and Frank and Junior is so fast. He moves like a lightweight. You know his hands are so quick. Uh, it'd definitely be an interesting match up, especially if Frank manages to get him down to the ground. Um, Martin, we know you got a week left to your fight. We're going to let you go back to your training camp. Chris, we're going to let you go back to work on your suntan. Uh, guys, thank you for coming into the studio, and we'll see you. Uh, uh, see Martin in the, in the cage next Friday night at the Tough Finale. Thanks for coming in, guys. Thank Thanks you. for having us. Oh my God. Programmet presenteras av Betsy.com.